So I am finally doing something that I've been putting off for a while and something I wish I started with my S15, but that is a YouTube series. Um, and mainly I'm gonna use it to start with this S13 that I picked up for <laughs> very cheap. Um, and I'm hoping to restore it. It's got a few imperfections in it. And um, I'm hoping to restore it a lot cleaner, but also get a drift build out of it. Oh, hello, what are you doing, bud? So, oh, it's still all got shit in it. So this S13 is a Q's model. Yes, Q's. And um, typical crack dash. Uh, but it's actually pretty clean for, I know it doesn't look like it at the moment, but it's quite a good, quite a good uh, chassis for its age, I guess. Um, I've already started and I wish I had already started filming, but I started painting this a couple weeks ago now and i um, very happy with how it turned out. I've got the motor sitting here at the moment. I've just taken the rocket cover off to give it uh, another paint. So that is currently dissolving with the paint stripper as we speak. So I can touch that up and give it a very bright color. So this is a VCT motor, which thankfully already came with this car. Um, I found this car while I was at work. It was down a little alley of this guy's house. Uh, I left a note and fortunately he rung me back and said that he would, he would consider selling it. Um, so I was very stoked when I got that, went around, had a look. He um, gave it to me for a very good price. And I wanted to use this, um, this car to learn. Um, I've done my 26 swapped S15 myself with the help of uh, my engine builder because I'm not very confident with um, building the motor by myself yet uh, and painting is another thing that I'm not confident with yet so I'm hoping to that this car here will teach me all of that and hopefully uh, anyone picks up something else along the way so this SR here um, it's currently stock that I know of right now so eventually the bottom end will let go um, and that's okay I'm 100% expecting it so um, I'm pretty much just gonna do a few basic things with this uh, I would rather reliability over power this is gonna be a drift car but reliability I'd hope hopefully make a reliable 300 horsepower safely um, and uh, yeah I've got a few things planned for this it's gonna look very different soon I've already um, already done quite a lot of it myself and I wish I had picked up the camera beforehand but that's what I thought better late than never now to start so today I've got the cover off I'm gonna give that a paint with my gun um, and I'm gonna try and get the manifold off as well and once I get the manifold off, I can chuck the new one on. I've gone for a six boost uh, manifold here, which I'll get out later, but it's in there. I need to get that welded, a V-band welded onto that so I can put my wastegate on. But for now, this is how the motor looks. That's a bit, a bit of a brief introduction to what I'm gonna do. And um, yeah, I can't wait to record along the way and hopefully it turns out pretty cool. So I've just taken the paint off using paint stripper and then I've just hit it with a wire wheel. Um, I'm going to be lazy and I've just got this primer. So I hit it with the can and then I'll hit it with the gun for the actual paint for the finish. So I've just hit it with uh, two coats of primer. So now I'm about to mix up my base coat um, with the thinners. I'll lay that and then I'll lay some clear. Color I've gone with is House of Color Hot Pink. And that's my thinners that I'm using there. Alrighty, now I've got it in my gun and uh, let's give it a go. Here's the base coat in the sun. So it is a very bright pink and I'm very happy with that if that focuses. So now I'm gonna mix up some clear 
and lay the clear on it before it gets too dry. So just finished laying the last uh, coat of clear and I am very stoked with how it has turned out. Did a four to one for the clear coat with a 8% uh, thinner to it. So that is four being the clear, one being the hardener, and then 8%, uh, I think it's eight to 10% um, for the thinners. Obviously just use normal primer, and then my base coat, I did a one to one thinners. Very happy. Sun has just come out, it's perfect timing. Don't know if that's gonna get if the camera can pick that up. Very happy with that finish. Clear looks awesome. Start. So I've currently got the painted, new painted um, rocker cover sitting on loosely, glad wrap to try and stop shit from getting in there. Um, I've got a new um, gasket, exhaust gasket. And so what we've got here is the old manifold is off. Um, so what I'm trying to do here is take the old studs off. So if you get two bolts, OEM, um, tighten them together. Then once I spin this one with my 14, it'll back the old studs out. Once I've got all the studs off as well, I can clean this surface here and get a really nice, uh, nice surface for the gasket to go on. And then I've also got all new studs thanks to six boost because I'm running a six boost manifold. If it'll focus, probably not. Six Bruce manifold, 45 mil gate, and I've got my Pulsar G25 turbo in here. So I can't wait to see how that goes. Heard pretty good things about Pulsar for a budget turbo, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes. So for now, I'm in the process of getting my stud off, all my studs off. Straight out like that. Sweet. So I've gotten all the studs off now. So I'm gonna use this razor blade, just give it a quick clean up. We're using a seven layer uh, exhaust gasket. So it's pretty forgiving. You don't need to um, get it spotless, but I'd like a nice clean surface to work with. And uh, might use a bright pad or some sandpaper and give it a real good cleanup. So I've just hit it with some sandpaper, 100 grit, and then I went to a 240. Um, and after the razor blade, nice and shiny, and uh, ready to put some new studs on. So it's gonna be the same method as before. I've got my new studs. I'm gonna dunk it in a little bit of uh, copper anises. Can't wait too much. And then we're gonna thread it in lightly. So we've got all the studs just in finger tight. I've got the uh, exhaust manifold gasket on. So we're gonna put the manifold on and then tighten the uh, nuts to spec.